Hey, it's Norm from Tesla.com, and for today's show and tell, I'm joined by a special guest, Sean Charlesworth. Hi. Sean, uh, if you remember, is the, was the winner, is the winner of the first season of our Inventor and Competition. He's actually from New York, in town this week to work with Adam on a secret project. Super secret. Well, you, which you'll, you'll see on the site sometime soon. But Sean, uh, you also write a 3D printing column for us yes. about turning digital things from bits and bytes to real atoms. You made these amazing tested signs. Yeah. Uh, 3D printed, multicolor, layered, modeled, and designed. Uh, we did a mailbag with them. They're amazing. Um, here's one without the name on top, and you're actually wearing one yourself. Yes, I brought it's, mine. It's very yeah, fit. It's I a little, don't get to use it too often, so. It's you know. one of my favorite things I'm glad you've received. And this is something you gave us last year, too. It's a project you've made that you sell in your Etsy store. Yeah. Um, a little container box that has a, a working iris. Yeah, that was that was actually uh, based off of the iris door on the Octopod. Ah. And, and, I, and I liked it so much as like, I make a nice little box. Yeah, if you and, haven't uh, seen Sean's Octopod 3D print, printed project, uh, just search Sean Charlesworth Octopod. It's, Google, yeah, it's on the site. You'll find, even, and yeah. it's on the site, and you've seen amazing photos of this. But that's not what we're here yeah. to share. I will. I also say this is available on Thingiverse too. Oh, okay. And yeah. we, can, we can put the link. So if you have a three D printer, you can. Yes, one you can out. actually print it out yourself, and the system actually works. Don't yes. put it in the dishwasher. No. Keep your valuables in it. Exactly. Um, but that's not what we're here to talk about. No. Uh, you have collected something that's. I've heard about, but I've never seen in person. And yes. It's in front the, of us right now. What is this? This is the Curta calculator. It's a calculator? Yeah. Um, and uh, this is this is an amazing little mechanical device because as much as I love the digital stuff, I love the nuts and bolts and the hardware uh, kind of stuff as well, too. Uh, so the, the original company uh, or originated in 1905 in Vienna, Austria. And then in... Uh, 1947, this was introduced, the Curta calculator. And apparently the story is that uh, uh, the gentleman who invented it, Kurt uh, Herstack, uh, he was uh, in Vienna, Austria, and during World War II, the, he was interred in the Buchenwald concentration camp. Oh, okay. But he was, he was a, uh, obviously a, a really good mechanical guy, and they put him to work as a technician, and while in the concentration camp, he developed the Curta calculator pretty much on paper. Wow. And, and uh, then when he, the, he was freed in 1945, and then in 1947, he put this into production, and they were produced in, in two different models from 1947 to 1972. So for about 20-something like yeah. years, the best handheld mechanical yeah. calculator you could buy for you know under $200. Yes, because, and I was curious, what the interesting, I had never seen this until I, I stumbled across it, and I, I why was this not more common? Uh, it was produced for 30 years, and it was an expensive piece. Mine is from 1966, and it was a, like around $125. And so apparently, it was it was used a lot in, by engineers and scientific personnel. So you didn't, you probably didn't see it a whole lot, like in your household or anything mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a, it is a mechanical marvel. And you can do uh, multiplication, addition, subtraction with decimal points, um, and it up looks to, like up a, to eight points or eight digits. You can dial into eight digits. Right. So let's examine it right now because yeah. the shape is really fascinating. All it's mechanical. It's not electronic at all. Got to make yeah. that really clear. There are gears and, and pins and things moving inside. That's cranked on top exactly. to do the calculation. Yeah. And what you're doing is making sliding and twisting and lifting to set the parameters of your calculation. Yeah. And then you kind of like churn some black pepper, exactly. and the numbers give you the it's answer. Like magic. Yeah, and it's it and and surprisingly, it's kind of complicated to use. And as we were discussing earlier, like I don't use it on a daily basis, right. obviously, because you got the apples. But but uh, you know, uh, I will have to get out the manual to look up some of the functions on this because it's it's a complicated process. Um, so so let's, do a, let's do a simple mathematical problem. Yeah, Something yeah. that anyone could do. Multiplication. Sure. Let's do uh, 342. Okay, so you would, you would dial in one of your multipliers, so okay. 342. All right. All right. And, and then uh, by what? what Multiplied do do? by, let's say, 257. Okay, so basically what you do is you have this, uh, this up here and this moves. And this is your ones, your tens, your your and your one hundreds. Okay? okay. 
So, uh, so what we're going to do is for the, we're going to go to the ones position and we're going to dial in the, the ones. So that, what, what was the number again? Uh, let's say it's 257. <laughs> 257. Okay. So up top here, this is your results dial mm -hmm. and this is your multiplier dial. Okay. okay? So what we, we, we have here is we're going to go to the ones. So that would be seven. Okay. okay? And we're going to crank it seven times. Oh. So on one side, it's sliding and there's second number, it's cranking. Okay, you've cranked. Yeah. All right. So you can see here in uh, we have a seven. All right. In the one. A seven. Position. Okay. All right. And then now you pull that up and shift. Now you're cranked to, to your ten. Ten. So and say five. five. So we're gonna do it five. So let's see if I can make sure you see this. One. No, two, I'm gonna cheat three, and pull out my four, five. digital so calculator. Five, seven, and then two. So you got the one hundred. And we're getting to one. So this one we have our other multiplier, 257, we have our 342, and if we did this correctly, uh, we should have the correct answer, which I have uh, eight, eight, uh, 87,894. That is correct! What? The curta got it right! Yeah. Wow! And then so you can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, mm -hmm. division. Yeah, and, and if, so, so for example, if you're gonna, this is where it gets crazy. So let's let's clear it out. So okay. once you have your answer, you need to, to kill yourself for your next problem. So this is a spring-loaded top, which we were returning previously. So if you push this up and there's a clearing lever, and you crank this around, and it'll clear everything back to zero, okay? That's so, amazing. so if you just want to add something, so just you know, one hundred plus two hundred for you know, so okay, one hundred. So one hundred. We crank that in, and you're in your three, your hundreds. Oh, for, actually, you know what? For addition, for this, we don't want to do that. So I, I, <laughs> I, that's a okay. So let's let's put this back on our one. Do all right. So for addition, so we're just going to do say two hundred. Two hundred. Dial that in. So we plus have one hundred. So let's say plus one hundred. And crank that in. There wow. we go. Right. Okay. Now then, if you want to subtract, so let's say let's subtract 200. So we go back to one. So we're going to subtract 200. Mm -hmm. You then pop this up, and it and turns red. red. <laughs> wow. And we go. Then we have the 100. So it's it's amazing. And then you have a lever here on the back. This is. <laughs> then this gets even more advanced. Concentrated. Every time you turn it, it will advance the counter up here by one. Mm -hmm. But for Certain situations you may not you may not want it to subtract one when you do the yeah. subtract. You want to actually keep track of how many times you turned it. This is a reversing lever that you then switch. And yeah. It, it, yeah, it gets crazy. And you gotta listen like you got you have to listen to this thing. I'm gonna hold it up near my mic, but like it just has this amazingly beautiful little clicky cranky noise. It's just it, you can tell there's a lot going on in there. Now, if you look online, people have taken their curtas apart, and I hear it's very difficult to put it back together if you've done it. It's, it's, I can't, just go on, uh, there's a, there's a good curta site, I think is vcalc, V-C-A-L-C dot net. It has everything you ever want to know about the curta. It has some exploded diagrams. Just look it up. It's mind blowing. And these, you know, they're, they're really hard to get parts for. There's only like one place in the states as far as i know that has parts or services these still and it's actually a rally car company who makes gauges for rally cars because apparently one of the things they would use these for during rally races mm -hmm. and for calculations and stuff so so uh, one of the companies out there which I'm not remember the name but they bought up a lot of the parts and train and they got trained at the the factory to do these and it's the it's it's pricey though like my for example mine was missing these are little decimal holders Mm -hmm. So you can do decimal calculations, and mine were all missing, and because there's a little, uh, right, there's a little screw that had fallen out. So I called them, I got a hold of them, and they were super nice. Because when you get into rare stuff like this, people love to talk about this. Like, like the, you, you, they just love to talk about it. So, so they don't, you know. I I contacted this guy, and he wrote me the nicest email back, and he said he did have some of these little pips, and they were, you know, pricey but not too bad. But then he said, and I was like, well, I'm also missing the screw. And he's screw like, back. oh, yeah. the screw, you're missing the screw. And he's like, I have like three of those, and they'll be $25 a piece. Wow. <laughs> for so, a tiny screw. For that. 
Luckily, because I fix old German cameras, I had a screw that fit that. that. Fit. So I was like, I can save $25. Awesome. Is this something that people can find if they look on eBay? Yeah. Are there a lot in circulation? You'll find them popping up on eBay. There's the Curta 1, which is what I have. There's also the Curta 2, which is, is bigger around, and it has up to 11 counters on it. <laughs> uh, versus An advanced one. model. Yeah. So the 2 tends to be more pricey. And I, I'm not sure if that's because they were produced for a shorter period of time or because of the, the deluxe model. but. They are on eBay a lot. They are quite expensive. Um, my beautiful wife got this for me for graduation at a steal because it was, it didn't look, it, it, it was a little grungy and dirty mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, you've cleaned it up. And she got a great deal on it and I cleaned it up and it works perfectly. Awesome. But, Thank uh, you so much, yeah, Sean, Curta. for bringing your Curta calculator, a relic from yes, the past. Absolutely. But a symbol of our ingenuity. Yes. As engineers. I love it. Untested. We'll have more awesome things for show and tell. Maybe more from Sean in the future. I'm Norm. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.